back to another episode of Friend Rare Beyond Journey Ends, episode 3 and 4. This is going to be kind of, I guess, a cute story. I don't know. It could be sad in the end, but it has a very unique art style. The music is fantastic. Uh, it's more orchestra based, and most people look at my face and my the way my appearance is and go, you can't like orchestra. And I'm just like... Um, it's awesome. I love it. One of my favorite openings is actually from Unic Gundam Unicorn, and it's the Gundam theme, or the Unicorn theme song. But this music is more like the amazing soundtrack that is in The Hobbit and Lord of the Rings. So I think that's why, because I heard that this was supposed to be like a Lord of the Rings knockoff, but I'm like, it doesn't look like it from episode one and two, so... I don't know where they're getting it from, music-wise, maybe? Because the music is fantastic? I don't know, I will see. So yes, we we got a little orphan girl that's... That grown up, I guess, and so she's gonna travel with our little elf now. Let's let's see what happens with their adventure. Oh, she's taller than her now. She kind of raised your ass. <laughs> You're kind of sitting there like, what? Aw, oh, shit, now she's stalking her. <laughs> now she's getting jealous about the sweets. Those folks seem very friendly. I think she was doing a bunch of stuff for her, and she won't, didn't want to tell her. It's supposed to be like a surprise. But no, no, Miss Miss Nosy. <laughs> There's only one member of her party left, though, that's alive. That's the dwarf. See, she was getting her a gift. But no, Miss Nosy had to go run around. Now she recognizes it. Oh, someone's gotten jealous. <laughs> I mean, the chest size is real. Well, kind of you are, but not really now. You've grown up. <laughs> I mean, how are they going to beat him then? It's just the two of them. Oh, did they use it against him? Or did it, like, exhaust his mana?
Wait, couldn't it pierce defensive shields? I have a feeling he's got something else. And dead. Damn, they took him, him real quick. Now she's reading her book. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Kind of neat. They're actually showing that the times have been passed and some of the events that happened before, like him as a kid. So five, four, correct. Here we go. It's so good that I'm just sitting here like, yes. <laughs> I'm liking it so far. It's a nice change of pace compared to war anime and people dying everywhere. I mean, people still dying, but like, it's calm compared to everything. As I stated, this is such a nice change of pace. It's still interesting, but it's nice and calm. But yet, there's still story <laughs> it's like a mom trying to drag her old old lady out <laughs> now it's more like a kid trying to mom and a kid but the mom is now her <laughs> Yeah, that's what I was saying. Back to your mom. I have a feeling someone's going to try to make her wake up early. At least I got it cleaned up, it looks like. Someone didn't say it. Get that girl some coffee. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, I know it's random and I'm, I'm a random ass person. I was sitting here looking at, um, listening to Fern and I was like, why does her voice actor seem so goddamn familiar? And then I'm like, pull that up. A lot of Mercury. Witch from Mercury. Watch the reaction on your... I, I, if you can. I, I did the reaction. I did the reaction of the series. And I like the voice actress. And then she also did a couple other characters from like Dr. Stone. And I'm like, hey, why why does she... And then I'm, it, it just clicked. And so I had to look it up and I'm like, oh, yep, yep, same voice actress.
I think the only reason I didn't recognize the voice actress is because she didn't have any like panic moments, and Slut is known for her panic moments. And that was the first time whenever she, like, you're not gonna wake up in time, wake up. And I was like, oh yeah, that that that's where I recognize. <laughs> I thought you were an old ass man and couldn't lift an axe anymore. You fucking lift a giant ass boulder. Oh yeah, they 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 all they, they were definitely party members. So if she's gonna go talk to him, how's she gonna? Oh shit, her master was right. Dude, the, the visuals in this are insane. So they're going to have to defeat the Demon Lord again, or Demon King? He's just not the very best with people. A mere 10 years. Oh my god, he fucking... Elves are crazy. Fucking nutbags. Okay, that's the end of those two episodes there. Jesus, elves are crazy. 10 years is, is a lot of years, but I get it. I get it, they live for fucking ever, and they, they don't die, lucky assholes, but I guess, I don't know, I don't think I'd want to live for fucking ever, cause that shit would suck after a while. Cause, I mean, Fenrir, 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 whatever her name is, fucking elf, I, I, I am gonna butcher her goddamn name, cause it's words, but it looks like she just, like, she's become numb to, like, everybody around her because of the fact that she lives forever, so, that would... That, that's how you would have to live, I guess, that way. Alright, well, that's the end of these two. Uh, definitely looking forward to the adventure, because now we actually have a destination that they're going to try to make it to. Not sure how fast they're going to make it to said destination, but I guess I will see. So, if you're liking this video and you have yet to do so, please hit, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time.